What's up everyone, Light Rose Demon here, back with you for... I can't remember what episode this is, but we're back with our Kingdom series, as always. So between episodes, I got working on a few things. So I took the time in my test world to create the, a, a thing and gather the supplies in this world to build the Mead Hall. Upon completion of said Mead Hall in a creative test world after three weeks of just non-stop work, I realized there was no way I was building it in survival mode. Even with having all the supplies, I would end up dying way too much just to fall damage and mobs join the construction. So, I decided to kind of split our focus. So, uh, we got a lot of flax and uh, we needed a lot of these, th those two, th those three things for wool. <clears throat> I also went and got another axe. It's night time, so uh, let's sleep. Oh, Bugger. I think there might be actually a spider on the roof, all things considered, but, uh... Oh, you... You little... Bugger! That's three plants I now need to replant! Because the cabbages, for some reason, have the odd thing that they do not need to be re They do not break when the thing breaks around them. Where's the hole? Like I, I, I made a lot of stuff for the for the recent for this build I'm doing that is being built in conjunction with today's build. The build we're building is all the way over there. Today, the, on the, we as our, we are actually going ourselves into the mines again to build a little bit of a lore element. Oh, who am I kidding? We, we all know we're most likely not going to be doing that. <coughs> that that's going to be another thing. I don't know what's up, but I feel I'm getting sick of uh, for some of, because of something I don't know. So let's deal with this stuff. First things first. Uh, we don't need the flint and steel on us. And the reason I, I bought the second axe from the villager, if you watched that last episode, we got ourselves a the little bit of a material from the we got ourselves the full set of armor from the villagers that we have, and now we're gonna take the axe and actually start making it pretty decent in terms of power. But, let's take the time and head over to where we are going to be building today's build. This is probably going to be one of the bigger buildings. And one of the ones that actually have like a non-traditional Viking style like we've been going for. Now, between episodes, I made to create cannon because I needed to to get the item list. Because this here will actually tell us the amount of materials we need. And we need a lot. Like, those six pages are full. So back in here to go, and these are just like spack up items. I thought we would need a lot more, but it took a lot of effort 
to get the grass. Oof, that it took way too long. A lot of shenanigans with the uh, create mod thing, and even then, it was fa it was honestly faster in the long run if I had to kill had to make an Enderman dirt farm, like an Enderman grass farm or whatever. I don't know. But the plan is, the entrance will be here, and it will actually work along with the actual shape of the landscape to create the overall structure. And I, I, I had to, a fair bit of gunpowder. So I'm hoping this is enough. Let's start. Now the thing is, we won't actually see any of this until after, until like after it's created. But I know there's a lot of terraforming that has been is done. Oh, this is the thing. Uh, yeah, I think it's going to build from the base up, and I know for a fact... Okay! There's our first... Okay! So, this is the back of it, by, from, what, from how I can tell. So apparently, uh, something's not adding up here, unless it's doing like very base, right, 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 it's going to do layer by layer. So there's very little of that that is going to actually be applied. Oh, wait, wait, are, are, you, are you kidding me? It's, I had to gather all the dirt I did. So it would replace grass with dirt. Okay. So the plan is essentially let this ha go off and do its thing while we attempt uh, to do our own kind of thing. Like that's that's gonna go pretty high in the air, con all things considered. Uh, Under here is a massive mob farm. Oh, I've been AFK'd here. Trying to get my thing set up for the recording for a while. Well, not here, but over in the house. So this is kind of an unintentional mob farm. I'll show you exactly what I mean. as a uh, shown I feel I mind way too many blocks okay okay there we go we are actually seeing the front of this thing And now I can come in with the shovel. Uh, hmm. Oh, 
Oh no. Did it not do something? Missing items. No, it should skip missing blocks. It should not be. Oh. Okay. Now, to make a snow layer, uh. Hmm. Okay, well, we're going to temporarily, uh, leave the. thing to function how it should. And we will hope that our environment will adjust and fix the issue at some point. We are in a, ice, in a snow biome, so hopefully we get snow. But that is going to be a pretty big build once it's done. If that's how high the smoke reaches over here, when seeing it over here. Oh yeah, we'll definitely be able to see it from here if that's where the smoke is up to. Honestly, uh, how do I make snow? Uh, I can use it. Oh, okay. That's actually not so bad then. We got a lot of snow, so I thought it was going to be a bit more difficult. So I might actually just create a bunch of these things. And okay, let's hop on over here because when I made the schematic, I completely forgot that the uh, making snow carpets was an actual function. And for the sake of my uh, mental notes, I need two two stacks. This should tell me if I have everything now. Yes, I got everything. And then some to spare, so. Let's, uh. Because that's the thing, like, I know for a fact that, like, yeah, like, right there, that is going to be an issue later down the line, but, like, a lot of these are just going to be an issue down the line. And let's just finish making up these. And that should be more than enough to fix up this little issue area. Uh, I don't want to fall in there, so... Yep, I should have seen that one coming.
Yeah, so once this is done, we do have to technically come in and repair the area, like, right here. But mostly, it's just going to be me coming in and just... There we go, we got the vein mine done. And we now actually have our physical entrance to the building. Jeez. Okay, people still give me the jump scares. Good to know. Okay, there we go. I'm so paranoid about creepers. I know they don't do anything. I know I could easily take all these things, but like, I honestly just don't want to. It's just a nuisance. Kind of like the wandering traders that keep showing up in here. I don't know why. But they keep spawning inside the house. Yes, I know, it, know it's a very good house and all, but like... Come on, people. Uh, leave my house alone. Back, 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 back. Yeah, Mr. Grand Culture is semi okay ish. A lot of it is just, it fills up my chest way too much. Okay. Oof, that, that is a painful sound to hear. Okay. We're getting a good look at the build. Okay. Well, this essentially means... Uh, uh, excuse me, game. Thank, thank you. Uh... These are textures from a new stain, a new texture pack I have, which is just the stain, like the 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 the, 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 the frame glass texture pack. Now the thing is, I can most likely get away with like removing the areas here on the on this level because uh, they are actually already done with this level. Because if they're going up by level, then they're all of it, they, they, we basically got the floor done. And knowing me, I most likely would have completely removed this part of the thing so it would be easier my mental stability when digging this stuff out. So let's uh, quickly finish mining this stuff out. Because we do need to swap out some stone for some dirt, but... See, this is the thing. I, I make a plan for this episode, and uh, it's just nothing. It don't happen. As much as I want to uh, attempt to make a mob farm that works 
for creepers and spider basically creepers because if we're going to be do, using the schematic cannon a lot for more schematics then it will be nice to have access to it so i want to just remove all this and uh let's just clear out what's around the core edges because those are going to be the thing that gives us the problem. Because if they are even touching our corner, it can result in the entirety of the build being consumed in parts. Yes, I'm aware that I'm uh, just making more snowball issues for myself. But I gotta say, you. Yeah. Oh, I forgot I had the sit mod act available to me. That's good information to know. Now, I don't technically have an interior for this. Yet. Oh wow. That shovel's almost broken. So we're gonna swap to the, uh, the, uh, the other shovel. There we go. I don't know what it does, uh, I'm just going to leave it for now. Like, you can clearly see, like, Create Mod is a bit better than the World Edit schematics, but at least with World Edit, uh, it gets rid of the other blocks. Oh yeah, I forgot that they technically... Hang chains. Now, uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I honestly wish I could have set it to work from the top down. Because that would have been a lot better. Oh. Oh. Oh, wait. Okay. Those are the archways. For a second there, I thought we had an issue with the overall build. But yeah, this is essentially the first floor in how it's going to be. <clears throat> what I'm thinking of doing, because we have the stairs here, I might make a staircase right here and right here, leading into the basement. I think that would be a pretty cool idea. Where the heck is the wandering trader to? Oh yeah, and then we got the mix of red and blue banners in amongst here. I th which I think add just will just add to the overall feel of the world. Okay, we'll have to run this thing again. Ooh. Okay, okay. That's a bit concerning. We're down to 15 gunpowder and we're not even on the second floor. But, oh, okay, well, okay. So we're going to let that run while we go work on some, another, pro another project. And I've mentioned it a couple times already. And that's the skeleton and creeper mix farm because once I get silk touch on a pickaxe, then I'm able to go about what uh, picking up spawners, and I can add them to that and move them around. Like it, basically, I got silk touch spawners. Which if if Mojang ever, honestly, in my opinion. 
that should be something that gets added to the game by def should be in the game by default like that's just my uh, personal opinion but in all honesty I'm pretty sure a lot of other people probably agrees with it okay <clears throat> the things I need for this build uh, I'm pretty sure we got most of it in the actual spruce leaves yeah spruce leaves and uh, I don't have any vines right now and I also am out of sh oh no I got some shears because I want to try an old thing I used to I believe we used to be we used to be able to do this in older Minecraft. Man, I really think I should make an ice farm at some point. Once I get a self touch pickaxe and a good XP farm. Which kind of is what this place is going to be for, for when I get mending. Okay, I need a lot of, uh... Let's grab these. Toss them all in to start cooking all this up. Well, we grab uh, a few of the iron pickaxes and uh, actually let's just grab all the iron pickaxes and turn them all into, uh, how many hammers can I make? One, okay. Honestly, that, that yeah, for anybody who wants to get like an early start on their mining this kingdom has a decent mine, but it's not going to be like the mega level quoi I want to build. The plan is for the mega the mega level quoi I want to build is probably going to be in the human kingdom, and that's going to go all the way down right to bedrock. And be at least 25 blocks wa wide on a radius, if if not more. Okay, this is the level I need. Man. Ugh. Okay. This is where I want to go. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, a lot of string. Projectile launch amplify to delay explosion amplify. Uh, excuse me? Only one way to test this thing. Might be a cool way of a uh, cast a spell at uh, half the cost or the user's entire mana bowl, whichever is smaller. Huh. So apparently, my uh, man. Yeah, okay. I don't got much mana anyway, so we're good on that front. Okay, now I need to remember how to build this. I believe it's like five on either side. Something like that. And then like five up, five down, five all over. Uh. Honestly. Uh. Oof. The lag in this area is uh, immense. And that's an issue at some point, but for now, let's just put all this stuff in amongst the stuff. And let's try my theory. Because we got... Uh... 
Okay, apparently that isn't how it works. Good to know, good to know. <sighs> to get vines, we... We can grow vines on a, a diamond ore. Or any kind of stone. That could actually be useful down the line. For now, though, uh... So right now, uh, I th I'm just gonna dig up three, dig up two. Doing the corners are a lot easier, and it kind of gives me that perspective I want. Because the idea of this is an old Viking tomb, or part of of old Viking tomb that was a. Uh, Recently dug up, or a, a lost civilization's crypt of some kind that was dug up while the Vikings were mining down here. Or at least that's the ultimate goal of the th theming of this. That's why I'm kind of glad it's at like deep slate level to give it that like dark vibe that I that we're gonna want to go for. Okay, let's uh, dig out the f four sides to the width we want. Because I don't mind if it's bigger than it needs to be. If it's too big, we can always make it smaller. If it's too small, it takes a lot more effort to uh, expand that then. There we go. Yeah, I think this this feel this feels like it's the right way, so I'm pretty happy with the outcome. Because honestly, if this was a hammer, if I didn't have the hammer, I I, I would not be attempting this uh at the current time. Oh, great. Uh, and I have no torches. Okay, uh, scratch that. I got... Uh, I got about a hundred or so extra torches laying around here, most likely. That I do not need... Because I act actually don't mind the fact of having a mob spawn. On the way here, kind of like, oh, a mob is here. Uh, okay, we must be uh, close to the mo a mob farm or spawn or something. Like... Honestly, I had bones. I would just bone meal the glow lighting a like in a lot. But for now, uh, grab the deep slate and we'll just block this in. Like, yeah, it's the mines, but like, eh, what's honestly the point? We already got a level that f goes beyond this. I honestly think this is the size I need for the base farm. And not the actual walls and structures. Why am I getting so much lag when I'm looking at that direction? Uh, then again, I'll, I'll look into that one between episodes, see if I can't fix that. I am going to make a backup of this world this time. Because every time I try and reduce lag due to some reasoning, 
It's always resulted in ending of a world causing a new season. That's a pain. Okay, there we go. Okay, so this is our base area that we have to work with. Now the thing I am probably going to do is I'm actually going to, before I dig any more down, I think I'm going to actually like build the structure. Because I do have an idea of how I want to do it. Okay, I need to figure out this thing before anything else. Because right now, that's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, uh, let's see. Mob farm area. Okay, spawner mob farm. Okay, so a nine by nine by four. Okay, yeah, this seems to work. It should be the right angle and right area. Now. So, this is the right area. That's good. So that means digging in here should allow us to essentially f create the structure I want. Because I kind of want to keep the structure he similar to how we have the entrance way. For a, with a specific reasoning in mind. Because we have we do have access to the taint the tinted glass, thanks to the uh, one of the mods we are using. Tinted glass, which is just tinted and glass. Sadly, I don't have any glass left over, but uh, it's glass. It's not that hard to get. So uh, I want to bring this back a fair ways. About right here. And now we build this on up like that. And 
and that should supply us with the equal amount on around all rooms. Well, on all walls. But it's me, so we all know that it's not going to be this sim as simple a design as that. Or well, at least if you've been watching the ser any of my series, you know I don't really enjoy the simpler concepts, theories, ideas. So the idea of this is an old Greek, old Greek style with like the high arches, fancy, like. Given it's not going to be uh, quartz, it's going to be actually like dark. As if it's kind of been corrupted over the years. Now I don't plan on having any collapsed areas because that defeats the whole purpose. But I plan on having it expand to le even into the kill chamber and around the area as decoration. Like, high arch roofs. I I'm not doing anything really simple. We will have overgrown leaves, stuff like that. So you don't really need to worry. So the plan is to start up here and then have the archway kind of come in and around. But that means uh, there's a reason I was cooking up all that coal. Okay. I. St you know what? This is all coming with me. Because I've had I, I I've had it with this. Getting down is easy. I don't mind that. Getting up from here is an absolute pain. So I'm going to install stairs at long last. Sadly, I did not bring a crafting table with me, like a fool. Now I'm gonna leave all these ores here for anybody who wants them in a in the world download, because unless I need them at this exact moment, which I really don't, we have the iron farm, so it's really not needed in any capacity. I'm kind of hoping that it's daytime so we can go check the progress of the build while we're up here, because I don't want to make that many trips to kind of like double check it. Because I'm thinking it should be in render distance, or at least hope so. Okay, there we go. Toss that in there, now we grab four stacks. Okay, I think uh, next episode we might... Wait, no. The super smelter is going in the industrial zone. Uh, oh, meh. Now, just note that you will have to rebuild the chimney in the world download and add a few extra details just to... 
make things function. Wait, are we only now at this part? Okay, it seems like when we're down in the mines, we are out of render, render distance. Because we're only now essentially getting to the secondary ledge. How's our gunpowder doing? Okay, still... Okay, we should be able to finish it. Okay, we're getting into a fairly nice looking area. A little annoyed that we don't have the door. I am happy though that we got the uh, banners. Those were one of the things that I was really concerned about upon seeing the, tor the lanterns not placing. So, yeah, that's going to be... You can instantly tell how the thing is going to be different compared to the rest of the build. Okay, I'm trying to think that I did not actually uh, remove this in the test world, but I feel that it just it's better f overall with that area gone. Because if I want to put like a road going in, I can put it going down this way, or I can put a farm in that little valley area. Ooh, my crops provide an exceptional harvest. Sadly, I have to figure out what to do to AFK around this thing to let it finish. So that it's actually finished by the end of this episode. So, uh, we're going to wait and hold off on the actual thing. And, uh, I need a lot of glass, so, because I need so much glass, I'm going to come down here and retrieve some glass, some, the sand we have laying around the, the bed of this little water area. We will not be touching that sand, so. Because honestly, that would just be bad for us. Oh. Uh, there don't seem to be, be any more sand. Okay, good to know. But that is still a fair bit of tinted glass, which I think should actually function to work how we, I want it. Wait, hold on. There we go. Because you know it probably won't smelt in those. And let's sleep. Okay, uh, okay, I'm pretty sure I should have enough amethyst laying around in the amethyst bin to create, uh, yeah, 
We definitely have enough to make tinted glass. Hmm. There we go, that should allow me to turn all this into tinted glass. And all into connecting tinted glass. Now, if I did, if I remember correctly, tinted glass should allow me not to have to, see, not be able to have any light ex enter the through it. So it's perfect for making a mob room with a greenhouse. So or at least that's the plan, at least. <laughs> I'm kind of kind of tempted to go tinted black glass though. I do have a fair bit of ink sack, so uh, yeah, let's go. I should be. Uh, I'll figure it out. Uh. Because I definitely cannot make a squid farm because uh, winter. Okay. Uh Waiting for something to finish when it's out of range like this is annoying. Like, as, uh, this, it is a fairly cool little build, so... Okay, we're starting to see the floor, the second floor installed. So, I, I'm pretty sure now I can get up there and... Oh, well, we, at least, okay, we got the, uh, we got the actual structure, so, this is the plan for it, at least, so, we haven't even started the roof, which is all this stuff, all these things, even more, don't know why I have more stained glass than I need, I know there's a, Actually, I'm not sure why we have so many banners left over. Okay, well, essentially, okay, we just come up the stairs here, and we're on the second floor. Okay, oh, there they are. As you can see, we got our little ledge here. We do have a guardrail around here, so d d do not, not worry, you won't fall. Safety is our number one concern when it comes to the patrons of our fine establishment here. Especially considering this is how we mostly get adventurers and people to enjoy themselves living in a harsh arctic wasteland. Uh, let's check the time of the video. Huh. 
the fact that this has taken 50 yard minutes I'm trying to figure out now where exactly I placed the dark oak trap doors because they were required in a wider uh, in among stuff here yeah we didn't need many Unless they were used for some kind of some things on the roof, uh, that could be it. The difficult part was this section of the roof here. Because as you can see, it's not really... It don't completely go up. So this is going to create a dark zone in among inside here. So what I'm going to do is I'm quickly going to pause and start. Nope, that did not work. Uh, stop running. Okay, I'll quickly run upstairs here and make sure it's actually placing the stuff. Uh, yes, yes it is. Okay. So I need to grab uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten lanterns and place them around in here. So that we don't end up with an unintentional mob farm. Oh wait, uh, I need one more because there was one up here as well. Honestly, that should be more than enough, uh, in all in all honesty. Because I'm pretty sure I went like this. Knowing me, and how much I like those the actual hanging la wall lanterns. Because the vibe I'm going for in here is a little dark. Considering it's only being powered by a few lanterns. Due to scarcity of the oil. And then the plan is we'll have like candles on the different ta different tables. Because they're going to be like long. They're going to be the long table v styles. And here we're going to have like the major long table for the chief and his his actual like raiders. And like the rest is it's going to be a pretty nice area. All things said and done. Okay, here we go. I think we got the... Okay, yeah, the balconies are done. I don't know why they're not placing the doors. But, yeah. This is going to be the balconies that the people can come out, lean out on. In the night time, and if they want to come up, have a smoke, have a drink, you know, basic bar behavior, meat holes. Or if they want to do some kind of shady deals with the loot. That's up to them. Now, I, I, I want to add in the doors. There's only three of them in that, throughout this entire place. Okay, yeah. It definitely re attempted to replace the snow. 
I don't mind that, but it, it it's kind of annoying. Okay, no, I know for a fact that these ones did not, because why would I have placed the take the taken the effort to place stuff if I knew? I mean, I probably would have done something insane. Thank you, past me, for not giving me any info. Given past me is like three hours before starting this video, and I got completely uh, uh... yeah, I, I don't know why. I don't know why I do this to myself. Uh. Nope, I did not actually do that. So I'm hoping that, uh... Yeah, here's our little guard rail, so... It's definitely nice. And then we got the banners. Yeah, we have the blue on the hit things and then red going around. Kind of, yeah, because, honestly, I couldn't... Uh, when I get an actual banner, I'm going to make two variants. The war and peace ones. Like the there's one that they hoist they hoist during times of war that'll have the red background, and one that they hoist during times of peace. The meat hall is a guaranteed peaceful zone, but this oh, oh spider okay I thought it was something much worse just jumping out of nowhere. Yeah, so that's basically that. Uh, so, because of the uh, schedule and that I have today, I am going to ha I'm going to end it here, and by next episode that should be done. So we'll start with the interior of it, or we will all we'll dig out the rest of the crypt and we can start uh, actually constructing it. So make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. If you're not already subscribed, yeah, that is. And make sure to check out our other videos. Playlist will be up in the corner during the last couple seconds of the last little bit of this video. So, and check out the channel. See if you like it. Honestly, I know the long videos aren't for everyone. So, hopefully you all enjoyed. This has been White Rose Demon signing off. Later all, and have a good one. See ya.